Joining us at the beach today is Rich Homie Kwan. Mark D'Antonio's favorite MC. He's a Think It's a Game recording artist, and his new single, Flex OOO, is available on iTunes. Let's get to know him a little. Kwan, what would you say was your most desperate time coming up in music where you thought maybe, hey, I'm not going to make it where I want to make it? Uh, my most desperate time would have, to, would have to have been when I got locked up. I got locked up for burglary. Keep in mind, I graduated with a 3.2 grade point average. So at that time, I know I had a, a felony, which is an FMI report card. I can't be that doctor I wanted to be anymore. I can't be that lawyer I wanted to be anymore. I played baseball from 14 to 18. So those are out of the no more baseball. So me being locked up, I thought about it. I said, come on, what are you good at? I could always write poetry. I love reading books. So I started off with writing poetry, and I would be in my dorm room beating on the desk. I would beat the desk on the dorm so hard, my knuckles would start bleeding. Your time in jail, you talk about it being a positive time because it corrected yeah. everything. Uh, yes. The worst day, the worst day in jail, though, what did that look like? My, my worst day in jail happened my second day in jail, only because when I got locked up, I'm under the impression I'm getting out the next day. <clears throat> Okay, so I'm on the phone, I'm talking to my mother every day, like, my mom is like, yeah, Kwan, you coming home? When I got locked up, I, I, I sat in jail with no bond for four months. So they, they set me in there like I had murdered somebody. I was on the top floor in confinement, 23-hour 23 hour lockdown a day, which means you only have an hour a day to yourself. A 20-minute phone call, you can take a shower if you want. That's on your discrepancy now. But you have an hour, to, you have an hour of, your, uh, of your time to your day. So that, that, that's what got me more into reading. Like I said, I graduated with a 3.2, but at that time, I didn't understand the knowledge of reading. I can read words perfectly, but it's the difference between reading words and understanding words. Once I learned how to read with understanding, I felt as if that's what created Rich Homie Quan. My favorite author uh, would have to be James Patterson. I love his books. I love everything about him. Uh, one person I would love to meet before, you know, I go out of this world, James Patterson, my biggest idol. Well, you wound up in jail for burglary. Like, how did that wind up happening where that became the way you were going about life? I see, like, be honest, like, I came up, I, I grew up with my mother. I lived, I lived with my mother. My dad stayed in my life my whole career. It's just they were never together. So, like, I know I can, go, I can always go to my dad's house and get anything I wanted. When I got the ass, they started telling me no. I had to get me a new hustle, and breaking the house was, were, were one of my hustles. How often were you doing this? Like, you get caught, but how often oh. were you doing it before you got caught? Oh, I was doing it four times a week. I was making me $15,000 a week, blowing. I was making $15,000 a week at the age of 19, spending $11,000 a week, so was leaving me before because I had no guidance. As fast as I was getting the money, I was spending the money. Uh, when you went into the ring with Adrian Broner, you're bringing him into the ring. There was a uh -huh. fight that, that broke out. What happened there? Did someone try to take your chain? Is that what happened? No, I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. This is the first time I've ever told this story. Okay. <clears throat> I walked Adrian Broner out. We were outside before he goes in or whatnot, and I'm on my tour bus, changing clothes. So it's a, a man comes, keeps trying to take a picture, knocking on the window, like, can I take a picture of Rich Homie? Keep in mind, I'm having a bad day. My grandmother just died. My grandmother just died this day. So, okay, make a long story short, I didn't take a picture. He gets mad about the picture. So as I'm walking him on stage, he changed his clothes. He, he walked right past. He hit me first. Only Y'all didn't see. He hit me. He hit me. He hit me. He, but he said, he said I'm, I'm a fame. I'm a trained boxer. Man, I, I wear a buck 35. If you're a trained boxer, why did you knock me off of my feet? So as he hit me in my face, my retaliation was, oh, no, nah, you don't hit me and get away with it. Let's get him now, and I'm going to show Floyd how he needs to do Pacquiao. And it was so, that like, was that, so that was that dude. But you, you do seem to be, like, hitting people a lot. Like, didn't you have to hit that dude in the crowd and try to take your watch? Yeah, man. It, it's not that. I, I, that's true. That's true. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. I mean, true. <laughs> I mean. That's true. But, no, it, I think it'd be more of a situation, man. You see my size, and I look approachable, but bro, I come from nothing, and it's like I wear it on my I wear it on my uh, my shoulder. 
I be I, I can't let nobody take this away from me. So no, I'm not a I'm not a I'm not an S starter. I just you know I just don't condone and BS. Like you you a man, you are a man. And you won't let nobody try you. You won't let nobody sit on your stage with people that's come to see. Come on, man, just get off the. St- I asked three times. Can you please get off the stage? Nope, this is my stage. Okay, I'm going to show you why. I'm going to let this be your stage. Yeah, see, yeah, you see what's go. going here on go. here. We talk about this in football all the time. The little dude that's tired of people trying yeah. him, and then yeah. once he yeah. goes over the line, it becomes you, a problem. Is that I fair feel like I'm, that like, oh, yeah, like, I feel like I'm Steve Smith, who used to play the Panthers. Yeah, that's, it. that's yeah, exactly you what I mean. You know? That's yeah, exactly yeah, what I was thinking like, about. I'm there Steve you Smith. You, you, you underestimate it, and when the outcome right. comes, now you feel some type of way. What happened with Young Thug? What's the story there? You guys are friends, and then the whole thing fell apart there? Where are you guys uh, now on this? Uh, me and Young Thug, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you know, like, we can't, yeah, you know, he, he, he always my brother for life, man. You know, no hard feelings, you know what I mean? We, uh, we, we both went to middle school together. We live in Atlanta. Right now, just a lot going on. You know, I'm still the same coin, man. I've never said anything to uh trash thug or banish his name because that's not where I come from. I'm all about giving, you know, blessings. So, you know what I mean? I wish thug the best of success, man. Well, see, that's very positive, and, and I guess I'm going to be the instigator here. Yes, but you when are. you read that he says, I mean, you guys were brothers, and he calls yeah. you b**** homie Quan, yes. your reaction when that gets back no, to yeah. you is what? Look, my, my, my first reaction was my brother called me b**** homie Quan, and I, I, I took my glasses off. Like, could it be honest, not to get in my feelings, it hurt. You know what I'm saying? Not, not hurt in as in, oh, I'm going to cry like, dog, bro, <clears throat> I would never disrespect you uh, point blank, period, especially when, when we have each other's number. You know what I'm saying? And like, it's certain stuff you do and certain stuff you don't do, and it's a certain, it's, it's a certain way you do things, and that's not one of the ways I would have done it. Let's go to a three shot here. We're gonna bring. Uh, we're gonna change the camera angle so my father can ask you something. Oh, right, that was up, nice man. You look, you look good. Nice man, then, Richard. Oh no, nice man. You look good to be seventy, man. I thought you were forty-three, man. I gotta watch out for my women. <laughs> You're my type of guy. You're my type of guy. Yeah. Hey, I love you, Bob. Right, go ahead, Bobby. Ask him your question. What do you got for him? Go ahead. What is the craziest night you had in Miami? Woo. Uh, the craziest night would have to have been at Lil. When they say I punched a man in the face, that's the craziest ever. You got to look at it. Me wearing a book 125, the man says I punched him twice. He has a chipped tooth, and he has memory losses in the back. I weigh a buck 35. (laughs) So what I did was Uh I hired me an attorney. Mm -hmm. And from now, we're going to let the attorney handle those situations. Cause this sound preposterous. Look at me. <laughs> Do I look like I would right. not listen right. the man right. was every bit of four hundred pounds, man. Right. Right. He's, a right. he, he, he's a bouncer. Right. He's hey, that's like Muggsy Bow knocking out Shaq. It would never happen. Never happen. Can you teach me the uh, rich homie dance? Oh. The rich homie dance? Okay. How can we put this in PG mode? <laughs> So listen. You don't have to be PG. You don't have to be so PG. Listen. My father's a grown <laughs> man. Let's go. It doesn't I have did, to be I, PG. So look, so look, Dad. The rich homie dance is basically, basically me. <laughs> we're going different ways. I right, stop. Right, I wipe right, the sweat right, off. Right, and we right. get back to it. We get yeah, back to right. it. We go all around the room with it. Okay. We go all around the room with it. Yeah. We slow yeah. it down. And yeah, we, we get back to it. Yeah, we get back to it. But look, Pop, you got to make sure your feet moving. Cause you got, yeah, you got, I got my feet moving. You got to make sure feet moving. I got everything moving. I got everything moving. All right. Yeah. I'm the right. yeah. right. right. no What's going no through moving. your mind I'm right now? So tell me what's going through your mind. Question. Uh, thank you, homie Quan. I need to get out of here. This is uh, wonderful and awful. See you later. Thank you, sir. Private lessons. No. Yes.